Hello everybody, today it's raining outside so I was making some southern squash so I wanted to share with y'all. I'm sure a lot of y'all probably know how but if not it's really good. So we're going to saute down our bacon, get it fried up real quick and I'll go in and out because I'm not going to bore y'all with the whole video of doing each step but I'll pull you back in as soon as we add something back in and explain it and I'll put the um, recipe down in the description so right now we're doing the bacon and we'll get back with you on the squash and onions and everything else in a minute I want to let y'all know I do fry down the bacon um, some people put it in there and cook it and it's limp and all that stuff and I would rather fry mine down and get the grease off of it and use the grease to cook my squash in the fat that comes off of the bacon that's what gives the squash the flavor you definitely if you're a meat eater <laughs> bacon is the way to go when you're making southern squash. So we'll be back in a second. Alright, I'm using the Wrights brand Applewood Thick Cut um, Smoked Bacon. This is what I like. It's a four pound pack. I used about two pounds. I cut, I took the half of the pack out and I cut it in about eighths all the way down that way it's easier to fry and that way when you're eating the squash everybody can have a little bit of taste of the bacon as well so I just wanted to show y'all what I used also I did pre-prep cut up the squash cut up the onions the garlic the, mixed all my seasoning in one container I don't have to go through showing you each little container just set all that out that way the video doesn't get boring and long-winded um, you'll get the idea but you won't have to sit through an hour or so of me cooking <laughs> so just wanted to let y'all know I did pre prep that in the squash I got from my sister and brother-in-law we went over there and picked some the other day y'all seen our video from a few days ago uh, where we were over there playing around fishing and picking squash and stuff so that's where we got the fresh squash from so before it's no longer fresh I want to use it I'd hate to let that go to waste and uh, make some yummy delicious southern squash I'm using my um, pampered chef wok skillet that is probably at least 15 maybe 20 years old and I'm using my Pampered Chef wooden utensils and um, I'm going to take the bacon out in a minute with these Pampered Chef tongs I love Pampered Chef guys um, they really make some fine products so that is what we using to cook with today All right, the bacon is getting almost done, so we're going to go ahead and um, move it around a little bit more in that grease, or bacon fat as some people would say. In the south, we call it grease. <laughs> and no, I do not have paper towel on my plate because I want to maintain as much of the bacon fat as possible um, even on the plate if possible because that's where your flavor comes from I'm gonna pull all that out like I said I pre-cut up my onions I'm gonna go ahead and add those I had uh, about six medium onions I cut 
cut up some fresh garlic. I had about eight heads of fresh garlic because the garlic and the bacon is what really makes this dish. And we'll get back with you shortly, as soon as it's sauteed down some. Alright, I want to let y'all know, yes, I'm using a lot of squash, a lot of onions, a lot of garlic, bacon, all that stuff. You can cut it down um, to whatever your family needs to make it, to make a smaller batch. I'm making it because I make enough to put up in the freezer. Uh, so I can have some later too if I want and we're not in the summertime and squash isn't in season so put some away and that way if I get hungry for southern squash I just pull me a little container out of the freezer and eat that. You see how translucent my onions are becoming and my garlic. I want to go ahead and cook that down until it's um, not only translucent but a little brown because that's where the flavor comes in and I'll bring y'all back in in just a second and show you that it's raining pretty good out there guys I'll tell you the truth I love onions and garlic uh, cook down like this. I could just sit there and eat that, but I am not a fan of raw onions. I know some people are. And if you do not want to use bacon, that is your prerogative. Some people, you know, are vegetarians and that's 100% fine or just don't feel like eating more meat. So, you do not have to include the bacon. I just love it because it's so flavorful and it makes the onions so flavorful as you cook them down in it, which in then turn flavors the rest of your food. All right, guys, I'm going to do something a lot of people don't. This is real butter. I'm going to go ahead and throw that down in there, a whole stick with my onions and my garlic. Let it finish off the process. Again, loaded with flavor. This gives an extra level of flavor to your squash. So we're going to get that cooked down. I don't know about y'all, but I like to clean up as I go. I do not have a dishwasher nor do I want a dishwasher. I like hand washing my dishes. So I try to keep them washed as I am cooking because I'm pretty hyper so I gotta be doing something right. So why not clean up as you go so you don't have to worry about doing so much when you're done or your family's done enjoying their meal. Most of the work is done, even if you have a dishwasher. Why not, while you're cooking, rinse your dishes and load them up, and that way you have less to do when it's all said and done. The butter is melted. My little edges of my onions and stuff are getting brown. So we're almost to where we want to be. And then we're going to just start adding in the squash. I'm just going to take it off the top here until um, I can pick up the bowl. It's a pretty big bowl, pretty heavy little bowl. If y'all hear me say little and big in the same sentence, it is a big bowl, but I have a problem with saying little this and little that. I have no idea why. I just do it. So we're just going to keep adding the squash in. Put 
this down just a little bit. There's a lot of squash. Squash is real water-based. So, in order to fit it all in my pan, I'm going to have to let it cook down a little. I'm going to add some of the bacon to it while this is cooking down. I'm going to add some of the seasoning I mixed up, which is garlic powder, even though we have a bunch of fresh garlic in there. A, uh, the Weber's garlic nerve from Sam's. We're adding that to it. I got about a cup and a half of water since I have this big old pan. I'll put about half of that to it to help in the process of cooking this down a little so we can add some more to it. And we're going to add a lid. This is not the lid that goes to it, but it works just fine for the application I need it for. Be back shortly, guys. I wanted to mention, too, I did use a hickory, just a little pinch of Redmond's hickory um, flavored smoke salt and some parsley flakes. Normally, I'd go out to my little herb garden and get some parsley, but we do not, we will not go out there in this mess to pick parsley, so... I have a little backup. It's never as good as the fresh, but we're going to go ahead and just use the um, dried out dehydrated parsley flakes today. All right, I went ahead and uh, it cooked down some, so I added the rest of my seasonings, the rest of my bacon, the rest of my water. We're going to cover it and let it cook down until it's really low. And then we'll go finish cooking it until it's uh, into a stir-fried consistency. All right, we got it cooked down about a quarter of the way. Checked it, stirred it, put the lid back on. Guys, we do live in a tiny home. It's a uh, camper that we had gotten when we decided to homestead and stuff. It's a camper that we gut it and turned into a little tiny home. So I told my husband the different things I wanted in order to live in a camper long term until we pay off some of our other bills that we had prior to moving here and some of them since we've been here. Um, told him I wanted a full-size kitchen sink, full-size toilet, and a full-size tub. And that was three of the requirements, and I got all three. So one day I will bring y'all on a little tour and show y'all the rest of our little tiny home. And Cat Smells is cooking. Little Mossy, what my husband calls one of the BK brothers, because he came from Burger King. Uh, my niece worked there, and somebody she knew was getting rid of the two cats. So he smells it cooking and he's full rotten. He thinks that he can have whatever. All the other cats have to be excluded and he is the only one privileged to get whatever it is we're trying to cook. Or begs for a can of tuna fish. He's too good for cat food, y'all. No, not really. He eats cat food sometimes, but he thinks that he should be privileged to tuna and chicken in a can while the other cats eat dry cat food. <laughs> We're still cooking this down. Put the lid back on a little while, and then I'm going to take the lid off shortly because um, once it gets down to where I want it, it's not bowling out the pot. You know, I have to worry about squash falling all over the stove. Then I will let the water cook out of it without the lid. And then it'll begin the sauteing down process. So it's going to become way less than what it started with because a lot of the water that's in the squash is going to be cooked out. All right, now we take the lid off. See all the water? Yes, I added water because I knew that it would help cook down the squash a lot quicker even though it has a lot of water in it. 
so that I was able to control it and it not fall all over the place because we've added so much. I don't know if I said it earlier, but I use like uh, 25 small squash because they're super tender. Some of them were maybe medium size, more closer to medium size, but the majority of them are the small squash. So we're going to cook that down, cook off some of this water. Push all the little escapees, the onions that are trying to escape and stuff over the edge. Push them back in there. And just let it cook a while, guys, until a lot of the water comes off of it. Well, it's going to take a little while. So we'll be back. Just give y'all a little peek. Cooking down. And I do have this on a high fire. And the whole time I have had it on a high fire because the bacon um, needed to cook down and it was in its own grease and it wasn't like overcooking fast. So pulled that out, added the onions and all to it. Y'all saw the process. So high was a proper application for this particular pot. Um, with what I'm cooking so you could cook it on lower temperatures and slower but I like to cook it this way all right we're still cooking the water out of it uh, we ask that you hit that thumbs up button we ask that you subscribe please and comment because all these things help us get seen in the algorithm so that it, the content can get out to more people and that helps us out a whole lot guys um, so please hit the thumbs up subscribe and comment down below all right guys um, I wanted to show you something that my dad had taught me when he was cooking I took a cup and I had got out some of the water that's still on top of course it has all the seasonings and stuff in it added a little more pinch of the hickory smoked Raymond salt and a good bit more garlic and I'm going to be drinking that while this is finishing up very healthy flavors left in there because um, the garlic is really what is super good for you and it's so flavorful so while you're doing it maybe you can add to your traditions just um, pull off a little bit of the water after it really cooks down and the flavor is really in there that and when you're cooking cabbage the same way I love cooking sauteed southern style cabbage this way so I just want to show you all the extra little goodness while we're finishing cooking down our squash All right, we're almost down to where most of the water's out. We're gonna continue cooking it until it is browned. Not all the way, but browned down some because that's what makes it so delicious. All right, everybody, we're in the final stages. I like it a little browner than this and I'll continue to cook it until I get it to my desired brownness, but more like this. Um, where you just let the bottom cook a little while and flip it into your mixture like that. See how it's a little darker? <clears throat> and it will be complete. It's very good served over rice. You can eat it without rice. You can eat it with rice. It just makes it stretch further for your family and it's really good. Uh, cabbage you can do the same thing way if you cook it like this um, so I really thank y'all on this 
rainy, rainy day that we can't even get outside that y'all stuck with me and got to learn how to make some good southern squash. <clears throat> Excuse me. And guys, we thank you so much for doing life together with us one day at a time. Have a blessed day.